we've evened up the series ahead of game number five, where we're going to get our number one man, Alex Faido, back out there against Zifu Ru, a man who we jumped on in game number one, as Faido pitched pretty well. And, uh, of course, our number one man, typically Snell, but because we were that wild card team, things a little bit rearranged in this postseason. So this is going to be our lineup. We're going we're gonna to keep Stubbs in the seven hole. Fido out there for his, what, third postseason start, I do believe. And he's given up five runs and 15 innings of work so far. Let's see if he can continue to pitch effectively. Dealing with this Yankees lineup for the second time this series. And he gives up four runs in the first, just like Snell did in game number three. So we have to work ourselves back from a four-run deficit now. And against a man as tough as Fu, not typically an easy thing to do. But we get four runs back in the fifth. Or in the fourth, so it's a one-run game now. Faido's still out there. Let's go batter by batter with him. I probably should get someone up. Always dealing with this part of the lineup. I'm very scared. Oh, jeez. Um, let's get uh, let's get Fisher up. Fisher, I'm ready. I'm ready to fucking excuse my language. I'm ready to. I'm ready to un. I'm about ready to unleash Jim Fisher here if he uh, continues to pitch how he has pitched so far in this postseason. That ball lined to right. That is a line. A nice play by the right fielder there. Machado is retired. Two down for Sequist, and look at that. Fido somehow gets the two, three, four men. One, two, three in the fifth. Uh, let's sit Fisher back down for the time being. And maybe Fido goes another inning. Urias leading things off. That ball flown to right field. But it looks like it will be playable, and it is. One away. Devers now. A two and two count. This ball has popped up. Looks like they got in on Devers there. That is a pitch to that man. Two away for Gillespie. And Gillespie being shifted on and grounded into the shift. That is out number three. So still five to four. Fu settles down a little bit right there. Now it is Shamar Myri facing Fido. That ball blooped into right field, but it will be caught by the right fielder Jake Bowers. One away. That ball hitting into left field, and that's a base hit for Rutherford. So let's get Fisher back up. I think he's going to be close to warm. No, oh, he's back to cold. That's not good. It is Moncada now. Moncada with a ground ball. No line drive. That's in the center field for a base hit. So two men on with the number eight man up. Fido at 85 pitches. I'm going to go to Fisher here. I know he's cold. Should have kept him up. I've been really uh, botching some things in uh, these two series so far. Just like kind of basic things like making sure relievers are warm. Usually I'm pretty good with that stuff, but honestly I've been bad so far. So that's a double play ball we'll take. And actually, I didn't even realize there was one out. That gets us out of the inning. Holy smokes. Thank you, Jim Fisher. Thought there was no outs. So now, uh, still working on that one run deficit to the Yankees here against Fu. It is Correa grounding out to start off the sixth. And then Bowers grounds out two away. That brings up Molina. He strikes out swinging. So Fu is through the sixth. Still a one run lead. Fisher back out there. We will give him a second inning of work. Facing Grant Burton. He strikes out swinging. One away for uh, Mestas, and that looks like it is going to be a ground out. Two away, Machado now. He strikes out swinging, so Fisher dealing with the toughest part of this lineup and dealing with them rather efficiently. He has given us five outs so far on just 19 pitches. So we will, we could, we could bring him back out there, but I might. It's the eighth inning. It's, that's a tough call. I might leave him out there for at least the first man up. But more importantly, we need to get some runs here. Stubbs rips one into center field. He's going for two, and he's in there. A leadoff double, a big double by Garrett Stubbs. And the tying man is aboard and in the scoring position as Kyle Schwarber is up now. 3-2 count. That ball grounded to the right side. And it gets away from the first baseman. Runner coming around. He will score, and the game is tied. That ball got away from the first baseman, Ron Sequist. And Stubbs took advantage, rounding third, scoring at the play without a throw. Schwarber to second base as the go-ahead run now into scoring position. And I am going to go to the pinch runner here, Ramiro Rodriguez, in for Kyle Schwarber. As Schwarber's night will be done. Let's get Givens up in the bullpen as the game is tied now. It doesn't really change, but still want to get him up anyway. Caprilarian is now in. Cap Caprielian cap <laughs> to face Ricardo Cespedes. I could have bunted with Cespedes here. That ball blooped to center, but it will be caught. Maybe I should have bunted with Cespedes. Now uh, 
or pinch in. I'm not sure if I... Yeah, that might have been a mistake. Here we go now. One away, though, for Urias. Urias, can he bail me out? That ball hit towards center. That's going to be caught. Two away. Devers, the last chance now, and he's going to have to face the lefty Curtis, who will come on. And Devers to deep right field. That ball is back. And gone! A two-run home run in the Rays. Take the lead. It's 7-5, and the Trop is rocking Tampa Bay. Has taken a 7-5 lead here in the seventh inning on Rafael Devers' two-run home run off of Zach Curtis. An unbelievable turn of events. Three runs in the seventh for the Rays, and they retake the lead. Or they take the lead for the first time tonight, I should say. And on the verge now of potentially taking a 3-2 series lead. This is a huge game number five, mind you, as this looks like it's going to be the third out of the inning. Gillespie is retired. Now we will... I think we will turn things... Ah, Givens, man. He struggled in that last appearance. I'm a little bit nervous about using him right away. Let's let Fisher start the inning. That ball grounded to the second baseman. That's going to be good for out number one. And let's get to Young up. Since this is such a big game, maybe we just bypass Givens altogether coming off of that big loss in game number three, that walk-off loss, as that's a ground ball, and that is going to be out number two. It is Rutherford up. Fisher, can he get the man? This is going to be two and two-thirds of scoreless innings out of the bullpen for Jim Fisher, as he appears to be all the way back from Tommy John now, looking like his old self as that I've been waiting now for a while for him to finally start paying off. He hasn't really had an opportunity um, in the playoffs the last couple of years, obviously because of the injury, but I've been waiting for him to get in a high leverage spot, and uh, that was the moment for him. He has helped us. If we go on to win this game and win this series, that is going to be a huge, huge uh, relief appearance for Fisher. Just holding them to five runs, and you know, right, right as we take the lead, he's going to go. He could go down as the winning pitcher, and man, would he deserve to because that was a huge performance. So here we go now. We got to protect the lead, though. We got a two run lead here heading to the bottom in the seventh. And we do not add on to it. So heading to the top, or bottom of the eighth, I should say. Heading to the top of the ninth now. It is DeYoung dealing with the seven, eight, nine men. We've got a two run lead. Let's see if he can slam the door and continue to pitch as he has so far these playoffs. Only allowing the one run in five and a third innings of work. That ball gets away from the first baseman. And Moncada gets the second. That will bring the tying run to the plate. So we saw an error victimize the Yankees' first baseman. Now it victimizes ours. That's a strikeout of Garcia. Now it's Derek Fisher pinch hitting for the Yankees. He strikes out. Two away for Grant Burton. The 2-0 count. You do not want this inning to get to mess us. That's a soft ground ball. And everyone is going to be safe. This will bring Juan Mestas to the plate. And this is not the man I want to see. We do have DeYoung on the mound this time around. But he has done it before in this series. In, uh, I guess that was game number two, actually, that we blew. Not game number three. But, because uh, that was a walk-off. But, uh, wow, uh, this this is making me pretty nervous. DeYoung facing Mestas, and he hits it to deep right field. No! Oh, my God, are you kidding me? This guy, Juan Mestas, all he does is hit go-ahead home runs. <laughs> God, the build-up to that was so perfect, too. He just saw that coming. Like, right when Burton was up, I was like, please don't let this inning get to Mestas, please. Oh, my goodness. Machado walks. I'm leaving DeYoung in there. Now this ball's hit to... Oh, man. That's a that's going to be a home run. Oh, my God, man. Wow, what an inning for the Yankees. Five runs. Oh, DeYoung. How does that happen? I have to go to Givens now. I don't even care if he's not warm. have no choice. Please make the play. And it was all because of an infield hit. It was an error and an infield hit that set that up. That is so frustrating. And now we're down three runs. Not even just one run. We're down three. Oh, my goodness. Scared Stubbs. Once again, it seems like it's always the 7-8-9 men coming up in these spots. But they've come through in the past. Stubbs, though, he will ground out. Rodriguez now, who pinch ran earlier in the game for Schwarber. That ball hits a left, but that is going to be caught. Two away. Let's put O'Hearn in. Might as well. And here we go, the 2-2 two and two count to O'Hearn. As he is 2-for-12 as a pinch hitter this year. He strikes out swinging in the Yankees win game 5. Unbelievable. I knew when I started freaking talking about Fisher. Look at that win probability expectancy, man. 
Oh, you know when the chart looks like that, it was a depressing game. That's the second time that's happened. Oh, the Yankees. Got to be kidding me. I knew really once I started talking about that effing Jim Fisher performance, that was going to... Uh, all right. Well, we're down 3-2. to two. Still in this, but... Man, now we got to win two games in New York. That is just so huge, that loss. That's really depressing, <laughs> honestly. So here we go. Game six, bats, backs against the wall. We were down 2-1 to one in the series. We almost went up 3-2. to two. We're going to have to do something similar here. It's Honeywell on the mound. It's going to be Honeywell and then Snell in games six and seven. And we're going back to Schwarber. Cespedes has been struggling. We could go to Rodriguez in center field, but that's a big downgrade defensively in center. Cespedes is certainly more competent, so we're going to stick with him. And other than that, no lineup changes. Honeywell taking the mound in New York for the second time in this series. He was the pitcher in game two, and he did not fare too well, I don't recall. If I, don't, uh, or if I recall correctly, if I remember correctly, I should say. New York with a 1-0 lead so far. Here we go. Two runs in the fourth. Oh, three runs in the fourth for the Yankees. That is tough. Honeywell through five now. He is at 75 pitches. Here we go. We got one back in the sixth. Was that a home run? It was an RBI single from Luis Molina scoring Rafael Devers. So one run game. Honeywell still out there. We're going to go better by better. Should get someone up though. That is a line drive in the left field. That's gonna be base hit. So let's get uh, let's get Jim Fisher up. Screw it. He's earned. Uh, he probably earned the second most trust out of anybody in this bullpen after DeYoung. Even after that home run by Mestas, I still am gonna not be afraid to use DeYoung. He has the track record. He's one of the best relievers in, in the game right now. And Fisher was one of those guys. And now he's looking like his old self. That's a base hit. Runner will hold. Now we got to take DeYoung out, of, or we got to take Honeywell out. Let's go to Fisher. See if he can work himself out of another jam. This would be impressive. He's got two strikes on Mancata. And that's a ground ball. They're going to let the runner score. Wow, I don't know about that decision. Okay, could have either tried to turn two or maybe... Oh, my God, man. <laughs> Please. Oh, Jesus, I thought that was gone. Yep, I thought that was the season right there. Well, I still think we should have uh, maybe not just conceded the run right there, but... It's all right, Schwarber blasts one to center. This one's got a chance, but it is going to be off the wall. So Schwarber gets a leadoff double. Now Ricardo Cespedes is up, and he is dealing with the lefty Zach Curtis. This is a tough spot. Could consider bunting, but I think we need every base runner possible right now. So we're going to let him face Curtis. This is likely going to result in a strikeout. He strikes out, drop third strike, and he is out at first. So Urias up now. Facing Curtis, the lefty. This could be an advantageous matchup. He hits one to left center. That's going to get down. And that'll go for extra bases. Schwarber scores in the tying run into scoring position for Tampa Bay. Cap comes on now to face Rafael Devers, who is behind in the count one and two, and who has struggled in this postseason. He hits that one the other way to the third baseman in the shift. That is going to be good for out number two. Gillespie now with two down, and he strikes out swinging. So we strand the tying run. We do get one back. It's 5-4 to four now. This is why I didn't want to concede that second run for the Yankees there. Fisher back out for the seventh. He fly, or he induces a fly out from Hedges. This should be an easy out for the center fielder Cespedes. Now Burton with a 1-2 count. This ball grounded to the second baseman. That's out number two. So I'm going to get DeYoung up right now. Fisher probably faces one or two more batters depending on if this man reaches. Mestas is retired. So I'm going to go DeYoung for the 8th and ninth probably. Fisher gave me 5 outs right there. We have uh, Correa leading off the top half of the 8th here. Facing Cody Allen. And he is going to strike out swinging. Correa is also... Uh, the numbers aren't bad for Correa this postseason, but hasn't seemed to come up in many big spots. Bowers with a big strikeout there. Now Molina. He hits one to deep left field. This could tie the game. And it's gone. Luis Molina ties the game at five. A solo blast. 385 feet of line drive home run. That clears the Yankee Stadium fences out in left field. And the game is tied. With two outs in the inning. Molina with the home run off of Cody Allen. The man who started the series as the closer but has since been demoted. Now Stubbs works a walk. It's Schwarber up. 
Extra bases could get the run home. That's into right field for a base hit. Stubbs will get to third. It's first and third for Ricardo Cespedes. Kind of an obvious pinch hit spot here, but... I, man, we're sacrificing the defense. That's huge. I think I'm going to let Cespedes hit against Cody Allen. And he strikes out swinging. God damn it, man. Oh, I should have just pinch hit. He's 6 for 34 now in the postseason. Well, certainly... I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. The defense... Still argued the defense would have been a huge downgrade. We need a competent center fielder for these late innings. It is Machado now facing DeYoung. DeYoung probably going to try and give us two innings here. If uh, the game remains tied, of course, if we surrender the lead this inning, then he might not get a chance in the ninth, but that is a ground ball from Machado, out number one. Ron Sequist hits one to deep right field. No! Oh, oh my God, man. Oh, wow. The live reactions in this episode have been some of the best. That is for sure. This has been an unbelievable series. So many twists and turns, but now things not looking good for us. We're going to be down a run, at least, heading into the ninth. And it is going to be a run. Now we have the top of the lineup due up at the very least. Facing Joe Ziegler. The Yankees have not been able to figure out the bullpen this series. That is the one bright spot. We've got a run off of them in the 8th. Maybe we have one more in us here in the ninth. Hopefully two. That would be great. It is Ziegler on to face Urias. That is dropped by the... No, I don't understand. Okay, that's a look at them. He's just standing at the plate. This is... there. I did notice there was a p new patch I didn't download for the game that maybe is fixes this kind of thing because this is weird how Arias is just standing at the plate there but he reaches on the error I'm going to get someone up in the bullpen because DeYoung is already at 13 pitches probably is going to be Givens um despite the last time we saw Givens he gave up that walk off Grand Slam I'm pretty sure I haven't used him since that ball line to left that is down so back-to-back -back signals to start out the inning and the tying run is in the scoring position it's Gillespie now Gillespie another guy who hasn't seemed to have a big hit all postseason but he's got four home runs that is strike three swinging. So one away for Carlos Correa. Correa pops it up. Third baseman is there. Two away. And Jake Bowers is the last man standing for Tampa Bay. As he needs to score Uria somehow. Or at least keep the inning alive. Two and two count. That ball grounded to the shortstop. The throw is dropped. And everyone is safe. The Rays will get one more chance. It's Luis Molina. The man who tied the game earlier. He has a chance now to tie it once again or perhaps give the Rays the lead. And unbelievable. I mean, this has been crazy. The amount of unpredictability that we have seen in this series has to be at all-time levels for any of uh, the series I put on YouTube. This ball is in the center field. The Rays are going to take the lead. Luis Molina does it again. It's 7-6 to six, Tampa Bay. We retake the lead. Now Stubbs. He grounds one. This is a tough play. Everyone's going to be safe. Nope, he grounds out. Okay, well, it looks like he was safe. Either way, 7-6 to six now. Tampa Bay, we have the lead, but as we've seen, nothing is a given in these series. I'm going to let DeYoung start out the inning. 7-8-9, two up for the Yankees. Moncada to deep right field, and we're tied again. Oh my god, how many years has this series taken off my life already? This is unbelievable. Do I, I gotta take DeYoung out. He pretty much has done, it seems. Let's go to Givens. Maybe DeYoung can pitch again tomorrow in Game 7, if there is a Game 7. Who knows? This is an unbelievable game. Phil Foster now facing Givens. He lines out. Nice play by the right fielder, Jake Bowers. Now two strikes on Fisher. He's been shitting. He will ground out. Two down for Grant Burton. And he strikes out. So the game is headed to extra innings. Look at this. Look at how many runs have been scored in the from innings 6 through 9. Unbelievable. This has been a crazy, crazy game. And it is headed to extra. Schwarber leading things off. Facing Joe Ziegler. That is going to be a ground out. Now Cespedes up. He has struggled. But he's got himself a base hit there into left center field. And he is aboard here with one away for Luis Urias. That's a ground ball. Could be two. But instead... Everybody is safe. So the shortstop not making the throw there. Urias beating that one out. And now it's Devers with the go-ahead run in scoring position. And let's see what our bullpen... I'm going to get uh, Zach Birdie up, I think. Could turn to him. Could possibly let Given start out the next inning. But Birdie, I think, would be my next option. So here we go. 3-2 count to Devers. He walks. So the bases are loaded with one away. 
Tying run 90 feet away, and that's a walk. Ziegler walks home, the go-ahead run, and the Rays once again retake the lead. This is unbelievable, and I'm sure we're just going to blow it in the bottom half. I'm sure however many runs we score in this inning, in the top half, the Yankees will score as many in the bottom half, and this game will just continue to go endlessly. I think that's how this is destined to go. Correa strikes out, two down. This ball into center field for a base hit. One run is going to score. I am going to send Devers. And Devers is going to score two runs. We'll come home for Tampa Bay, and it's 10-7 now. Okay, so we built ourselves a three-run lead, and we've done this in the past in this series. It hasn't always worked out. We will see Molina. He's looping one into center. That is going to be caught by Burton. So that retires the side, but Tampa Bay does take a three-run lead. Now, oh my god, it's this part of the lineup. At least, at least, okay, well... Okay, at least if Sequist comes up and it's a home run, it only ties the game. I'm sure that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to go to Zach Birdie. First two guys are going to reach, and then Sequist will probably hit a game-tying home run. And then the next three guys will go down in order. And as I said, this game will probably continue forever. There is Mestas doing his part with a leadoff single. Now Machado, that is going to be a base hit. So the tying run is going to already come to the plate. Oh, my God. This game, it's not going to end. It's Sequist. Here it comes. Oh. To ground out, okay, big out number one. Mateo, who doesn't have nearly as much power as Sequist. Dealing with birdie, that's strike three swinging, two down. Rutherford, the last chance for the Yankees, flies it to center field. And finally, we have forced a game seven. <laughs> unbelievable, this has been a, look at this win probability chart. This is unbelievable. I've never seen, I've never, this is like, I mean, I've, taken, I've, I've played weird series before. I've had weird singular games. But I don't know if I've ever had a series like this where all the games have just been so weird and so back and forth and so many twists and turns. I mean, it really is kind of unbelievable. At least, I hope, I feel like it's probably going to be, you know, kind of surprising and unbelievable to watch. Maybe not unbelievable to watch, but experiencing it as the player is certainly kind of unbelievable being this invested in it. But, uh... Here we go, game seven. It's going to be Blake Snell on the mound. He really struggled in game number three. But other than that, he's been very sharp in this postseason. He's our number one man, our ace. Guy who's had a really good three-year run now. He's established himself as one of the best pitchers in the American League. And he's hoping to show that tonight as he takes on the Yankees in a big game number seven. New York is throwing Justice Sheffield, a man who pitched pretty well for them in his one start against us earlier this series. And this is going to be our lineup. Here we go. Game number seven. Who knows what this game is going to have in store for us. I'm sure it's going to be wild and unpredictable. And I'm sure one team is going to lead like 12 to 3. And then the final score is going to be like 18 to 17. I think that's probably how this game will go. Or maybe it'll just be 1 to nothing. Who knows. Honestly, could not tell you. Here we go. Game seven, Tampa Bay in New York. New York takes a 2-0 lead in the third. They finally get to Blake Snell. Sheffield has been sharp so far. Only the one hit allowed. Now make that two hits, but no runs. Four Ks for Sheffield on just 47 pitches through four innings. We do get one back there in the fifth. It's now 2-1 as it looks like J.J. Schwartz drove home Casey Gillespie. So 2-1 is the score, Snell. Back out there for the fifth. I'm just going to be extra, extra careful. I don't know. Let's take a look at our bullpen real quick. So DeYoung, Fisher, Givens, they all look like they're only going to be able to give us one inning. Diaz and Birdie are probably going to be our multiple inning guys if it gets into one of those games, if it becomes one of those kind of games uh, that we have to use one of the guys for multiple innings. Hedges to deep left, and it's 3-1 to one Yankees. Austin Hedges goes yard. Snell struggling just a little bit now dealing with Christian Andrade I don't know who this guy is he strikes out swinging two away for the leadoff man Rutherford that ball hit well to left center field but Cespedes is over and he makes the play nice running catch by Ricardo Cespedes the Yankees tack on one more they get that lead back up the two we are already into the New York bullpen as it's going to be Hunter Wood coming on for New York dealing with Rafael Devers Devers here hits it sharply to the first base and that's going to be out number one Correa now a 3-2 count as he, that was actually, yeah, that was ball three. Now it's a 3-2 count. Rainy beginning to fall. He strikes out looking. Molina, one of the only guys who has really had big hits. And they're going to call a rain delay. This is pretty, pretty ridiculous right now. I don't think, yeah, they wouldn't call the, I'm sure they wouldn't call a playoff game. 51 minute rain delay. Um, Snell is, yeah, so we got to take Snell out now. So that kind of, that's a bad spot for our bullpen to be in, I would say, with the amount of, 
the amount we had to use some of our high leverage guys in game six. I don't really think that's going to work out too well for us, but I'm sure the Yankees bullpen is going to be pretty spent as well. And we have already gotten uh, plenty of big hits off the Yankees bullpen. There's Molina with a two out single. That brings Gillespie to the plate. He's got a 3-1 count. He takes ball four, so two on for Bowers with two outs. That ball hit to right. Falling fast, it is caught. So we head to the bottom half of the six. Still a two-run advantage for the New York Yankees. And we're going to turn things over to Zach Birdie. Maybe try to get two innings of work out of him, as he's going to have to deal with the middle part of this Yankees lineup. It's Mestas working a leadoff walk. Now Machado hitting one well to left field. That's going to get down and go for extra bases. We get the ball in quickly. Mestas rounding third. He is going to score, and it's 4-1 to one Yankees. So now Sequest with a chance to make it 5-1, to one, and he will do just that. Nope, Machado's going to be held at third. This game makes no sense sometimes. I don't know why he didn't go. That wasn't even Sequest. This is Sequest. That is going to make it 5-1 to one Yankees. So this game is starting to get away from us now. Uh, that's too bad. Uh, the rain delay definitely hurt us. We're going to just get Fisher up. 3-2 and two count to Mankata. Ball four. Got to go to Fisher here. This game is right on the verge of getting out of hand. 1-2 and two count to Dermis Garcia. And he will strike out one away. Now we have the double play set up. It's Hedges. He strikes out swinging two away. The number nine man, Andrade. He strikes out. So Fisher, I think he just threw an immaculate inning within that jam caused by Zach Birdie right there. Pretty sure he just struck out three straight guys on nine pitches. <laughs> it's pretty unbelievable. And he's not even, I mean, we might as well just leave him in there. It could be the last game of the season. So he's only at 10 pitches. He might be close to spent, but we're going to pretty much use him until he's spent. It's Schwartz grounding out. One away in the seventh. Schwarber, he strikes out. Now Cespedes facing the lefty. He's going to strike out. Yankees six outs away from advancing. As we head to the bottom of the seventh, Fisher back out there. Let's get Michael Givens up. Um, and then probably use DeYoung. Might as well, let's just get DeYoung up. Screw it. Might as well. I just don't want to not use DeYoung in this kind of game. Fisher gets another strikeout. Mestas grounds it hard, or lines it hard, but that is caught by the first baseman. Now Machado with two away. He hits it to the shortstop. That is through for a base hit. Now, can Fisher get the last inning, last man of the inning? Nope, that's a walk. Let's just get him out of here now. Turn it over to DeYoung. Ending in two-thirds out of Fisher. So far, no runs, but he is responsible for the two men on. It's Sequist facing DeYoung. And that is grounded to the first baseman. That will be out number three, so we hold the lead at four. Still just six outs away from our demise. Urias up to face Zach Curtis, who's still into the game. That is going to be off the glove of the third baseman. Some bad defense being played. In this series, of course, that's only the first inning of the night. And that was by Machado, It's kind of surprisingly. So Devers up now facing the lefty. He strikes out looking. One down for Correa. Can he finally get a hit, big hit off of a lefty? He does. Single into right field. I am going to hold Arias at second. We've got Molina up now. We really need a big hit here. Facing Capriellian. The new pitcher for the Yankees. That ball hit well into right center field. That is going to find the gap. One run scores. We are going to hold our other runner at third. Correa will stop there. It's a big double for Luis Molina, who continues to hit the ball well in these big spots. Casey Gillespie's turn now. One and two count. He strikes out swinging. Jake Bowers. Can he come through? That is grounded to the first baseman off the first baseman's glove. Everybody's going to be safe. Another error for the Yankees. So it's 5-3. to three. We cut the lead to two. Now with Schwartz up, do we go to Garrett Stubbs? I think Stubbs, he's been the hot man in these playoffs. Although Schwartz has looked good. He hasn't hit for the power that we typically see out of him. But Stubbs has been fantastic all postseason. And he's played the majority of the games. So we're going to go to him here against the righty soft ground ball off the second baseman's glove. The third error of the inning, and it's 5-4. to four. The Yankees are keeping the Rays in this game single-handedly with their defense. Tampa Bay isn't even really stroking the ball at this point, but we're taking advantage. Now this ball popped up, should be out number three, and it is. So three runs across. I think all of those must have been unearned. Pretty unbelievable stuff. So now DeYoung is out there to pitch the eighth. He is dealing with Mancata. That is going to be a ground ball. And that is out number one. Now Cespedes facing Derm. Oh, no, this is Dermis Garcia up. He hits it deep to left. And that is gone. DeYoung 
struggling with the home run ball this series. This is getting out of hand for him. And yeah, now I'm going to have to take him out here. This is getting away from him already. Let's get Givens in there. Hopefully Givens can keep it a two-run game, but 3-1 count to the number nine, man. I don't like this. God, we just walked the eight and nine hitters. And now the runners are stealing or something. It's a ball. Oh, my God. Rutherford, that's going to be an infield hit. Dude, just throw the ball. Oh, my God. They're going to get all these runs back. This is going to be fly out, but a sack fly. Eight to four Yankees. Now Machado probably hits a two-run home run. Nope, he lines out. All right, so Yankees get all three of those runs back. And we head to the ninth. Number nine man Cespedes so leading things off, facing Caprielian. He is out number one. Back to the top of the lineup we go. Urias is hit by a pitch. So one man is aboard for Devers. Devers flies one to left field. This looks like it should be and will be caught for out number two. Raised down to their last out, Correa. And that does it. And the end to a pretty uh, amazing series, but an incredibly frustrating one. I can't help but feel like we should have won that series. We had so many chances and just uh, so many blown leads. Ah, oh, man, that is so frustrating. Even that game, I mean, when we had those three runs in the seventh, or those three runs in the eighth, and we got it to 5-4, like, all on errors. It was like, oh, my God, is this going to happen again? Are we going to have another crazy game? But, nope, the bullpen just couldn't hold it. So, that does it. This has been a super long episode. I don't know if I might split it into two parts or not because I think it's been over an hour. But, holy smokes, I need to go take a nap or something or never play this game again. That's going to do it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thanks for watching. I'm just kidding, by the way, and I'm out. Peace.